all right guys welcome back and in this video I actually want to show you guys something real cool and actually don't even mind this code right down here because whatever I teach you in like the next minute I'm gonna be applying to changes to the program that we made in the last couple of tutorials but for now I don't want to delete it all so um, just pay attention to what am I about to type so before what I showed you guys is how to have your computer make a simple decision if and then you tested something and if it was true it ran this bit of code but if it was false then it just pretty much skipped over it didn't do anything well what if you want to say okay actually I want to give you a test and of course if it's true run this bit but if it's not true then just don't do nothing if it's not true then run another bit of code by default well the syntax for this is else and then the code that this is going to run by default is in between um, another curly bracket. And another thing I want to point out is for the else, you don't need any test because it's not testing anything. It's just the code that runs by default if this test is false. So what the heck am I talking about? How can I use this in actual program? Well, check this out. What we're doing right here is basically saying, okay, this is the code that runs if the user's age is above or equal to 18 and this is the code that runs if they're under 18 so we really don't need to be testing 18 a bunch of times you really only have two choices are they 18 or greater or are they not simple enough so this is an instance where actually we can actually use that else statement so I'll just go ahead and copy this code and delete this right here so what we can do now is whenever this if gets done right after it type else and add two brackets and put that code right in there so this is basically saying right now is okay is the users age 18 or greater if it is run this bit of code else that must mean that they're not 18 or greater run this bit of code so now we can run this and it says how old are you of course I'm only 12 hit enter what is your gender I'm a male and of course nothing to see here now another way that we can do this is we can actually use this else statement on male or female because <coughs> excuse me that else statement is awesome whenever you have two decisions so 18 or not 18 male female perfect so let's go ahead and copy this right here or excuse me I'll just cut that and delete it so if they are a male do this else if they're not a male and that's false well then they must be a female so we can go ahead and type milady so again if they're not 18 then they must be under 18 duh if they're not a male they have to be a female duh so if the test is true do this if not do this simple enough so now we'll just go ahead and check for bugs one more time if I can move my freaking window and let's get to a uh, an old lady so how old are you well of course I'm 541 and I'm a female the oldest female in the universe hit enter you may enter the website or may you may enter this website milady and of course the path we took on that one is 18 and milady simple stuff but uh you know had to teach it to you guys and like I said this is the key concept to take away the if else statement is really good when you have two decisions 18 or older or excuse me 18 and above or younger male female but now you're saying okay what if I have uh, like more than one option what if I'm selling t-shirts and I have small medium large extra large I can't just use if else uh, that won't work or like what if I'm making something for grades and it's like a b c d what the heck do I do then well in the next tutorial that's what we're gonna be talking about and we're probably gonna be building the coolest and most useful program yet so um, well that's all I got to say hopefully you guys stick around and I'll see you then